So let's revisit Serene. Solid, we got a good crack and good rock. Equalized, we just went through that. So nice and equalized for our direction of pull. Redundant, well let's check. If any one of these pieces were to fail, would the anchor, in, in, its, in its entirety, would the anchor fail? So let's find out. Nope, okay. Well, it looks pretty good. Any one of those, imagine your invisible scissors. Go cut any one of these. If the whole anchor fails, if you cut one point, it's not redundant. Okay, so that looks good. So solid, equalized, redundant, efficient. Didn't take too long, so it's a timely anchor. That's always good, especially on multi-pitch climbs. And no extensions. And that's one that can be really important, and I'll show you what an extension will look like. An extension won't happen in this case because you can see if one piece fails, the anchor point stays fixed. So let's look at what an extension, what would happen in the case of an extension. So here's my solidly placed pieces, equalized. And let's say I stop right there. And sometimes I'll see anchors built like this under the impression that it's self-equalizing and so that can distribute forces. Now let's go back through Serene. If a piece fails, what's gonna happen? So my master point extended. So that's the last part of Serene, no extensions. What happens is that shock loads your anchor and that puts much more force now on just two pieces. So that's a bad thing to have on an anchor. Now let's put this back. All right, we're back here again. Equalized. Now let's say the rope cuts. So I've got my imaginary scissors that cut the rope. The entire anchor fails. So that is not a redundant system. So that serene acronym is a good way to go through and make sure your anchor is acceptable and up to standard.